Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. Special guest today, Vinny the Hitman Kung. You probably remember him from when uh, we were on Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forwards together. We had so much fun back then. I'm on a trip up to New Jersey, so I had to come by and say hello to Vinny. And uh, he had a little special surprise for me, which is behind us. I got to drive a classic Ferrari. How cool is that? Thanks, man. Yeah, so glad you could make it up here. Uh, and I wanted to take a chance for you to check this out. We've all seen the movie Ford versus Ferrari, so oh, yeah. it was always interesting, it was always top of mind, but the whole Ferrari story. But I think all of us have grown up wondering what it's like to have a Ferrari, own a Ferrari, or be near one, or just be able to have a friend that had one to drive it. So I decided to take a chance. Uh, came across this one, so now we have Evan getting a chance to drive it. And this car, it's an 81, was just like the one in Magnum PI. As a matter of fact, they used several of them, but the 81 was the one that stayed around the longest throughout the show's run. Anyhow, this particular one is an I, so it's fuel injected, and the 308 designates the engine size and the number of cylinders, so 3.0 liter V8 injected. So this particular one, again, uh, was in storage for some time, and it has been repainted. So to make it look even better, uh, they left it stock. No. Gone through some mechanicals and so forth, but ultimately just to make it reliable and fun. So these were rated about 205 horsepower. Doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, the car weighing around around 3,000 pounds, then having a five-speed gearbox, it's actually pretty quick. Gets off its feet really well, it revs to 8,000 RPM. The weight's probably pretty similar to a 5-liter Mustang. Yeah, it's right there, like a Fox Body Mustang. So, again, no slouch. But don't forget, this is back 
when the European cars had a tough time coming into the US in the first place because of the smog equipment and so forth. So speaking of which, this car already had the smog gear removed from it, which consisted of an air pump and some injection tubes. Uh, so power is probably around 215, nothing crazy. But again, the sounds, the, uh, the feeling, the, uh, the shifting. So again, talking about the shifting, it's a five speed manual and it actually has a gated shifter. So gated shifters are probably one of the most interesting ways to drive a car. It's so engaging, it makes all the right sounds and it makes you literally feel like you're one with the car. Now this one has a gated shifter that has a dog leg first. So if you look at the shift pattern on the knob, you can see that left and down is where first is and then fifth is all the way to the right and back. So the 308 GTS eyes had unique interiors, so the seats were very different. And this goes back to everything that we know. We're car guys, so we like to know everything by year by year. So for only about a year and a half to two years when they made these, they came with specific steering wheels, specific trim, center consoles that were like also covered in leather, and the switches that we were just talking about are very tactile in nature and manual steering. So. These things have a rack and pinion that feels like unlike anything on the road. It is literally coming from your hands going to the two wheels. It's like your hands are on the tie rods. And Evan, you felt it, right? Unbelievable. Right in your hands. Feels. It's, so, it's pure. Right. So I guess you could say this is truly, especially nowadays, one of the most analog driving experiences you could ever have. It's just everything is understood. You can feel every ripple on the road. You can feel the brakes working. Four wheel disc and uh, power assisted, but it still has an incredible amount of feel. So that's the big thing. And I think we all know that's kind of missing from some cars. Now, granted, modern cars are super fast, but this car just pushes so many right buttons, at least for me. That's why I really wanted to get one and I picked this thing up. We're all off talking about engines, so we might as well get right to it, right? <laughs> Here it is, there's the three liter motor. So it's a twin cam but two valve design and it's pretty interesting so that's why you have these large valve covers here it's transversely mounted and as you can see it uses the Bosch mechanical fuel injection right here distribution center and it takes the air in from the side scoop that you saw over here brings it here to a conventional panel filter right into the vein which is uh, literally a disc underneath here that meters the fuel mechanically to all the uh, injectors each cylinder gets one and uh, has a single throttle body and it's very simple if you think about it. I mean, granted, this was state of the art. So the oiling system is uh, pretty large too. I forgot how many quarts. I think it's 10 quarts it took uh, when we did the oil change. But again, just it creates such great sounds, right? It's very mechanical. It's a flat plane crank, so it makes the smooth power. It revs to 8,000. It just does everything, I guess you could say, right. So everything great about the automotive world is right here. Two distributors two ignition coils, so two setups, so it's pretty interesting to see. So it treats it like two four cylinders, which is what it kind of sounds like when you're driving it. But again, this thing makes about 215 horsepower right now, which is all you really need to move this light car around. So what I felt driving this thing was the steering is just pure. That initial bit of turn in, you feel the weight of the steering and it gets a little bit heavier as you give it more input. As you load the car in a corner, it gets a little heavier, so you always know where you are in terms of steering. You probably could push it to the point of understeer or stab it for a little oversteer. It's a very balanced car. Now, to just get in there and feel something that's from the 80s um, and the fact that it's mechanical, you feel those gates as you're shifting, it's not something you're going to power shift. The pedal box is offset, so you're kind of having to get used to where your feet are because just moving your feet over a couple inches it does really throw you off a little bit, Vinny. It's something you have to get used to all the touch points, all the feel points, and it feels small around you. The windshield's right up against your face. The side mirror and the rear view mirror are like right in your face. You're closed in where new cars, everything is moved away from you. There's room for airbags. In this car, you're the airbag. You know, target roof, but I mean, you're feeling like Magnum PI. You're cruising, the top's down, it's a gorgeous day. Have, you can feel where the front of the car is. You can feel where the back of the car is. It's just a pure, awesome experience. And uh, man, I want to go for another drive. All right, guys, so that's a wrap on the 308 Ferrari drive. I can't thank Vinny enough. Let me drive his car. Wonderful experience, beautiful car, from the sounds to the looks. I mean, it's a classic Ferrari. How do you go wrong? Yeah, you can't go wrong with something like this.
Thanks for coming, Evan. Uh, you're welcome, dude. We appreciate everybody checking out the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button. And let us know what you want to see because we got a lot of stuff we can do and we want to make you guys happy. So have yourself a great day.